For more than five decades, 92-year-old insurance giant Allstate had a sprawling 2 million square foot headquarters in suburban Chicago that by 2020 housed some 5,200 people across roughly 280 acres. But last year, the company sold the Northbrook, Illinois campus. With 83% of its employees now remote, the complex was a ghost town on the average weekday. Instead, Allstate has been downsizing its real estate by about 50% globally and modernizing smaller spaces it calls, pods, rather than, offices. The word, office, has been around for hundreds of years and it has a very distinct connotation, says Bob Tui, Allstate's chief human resources officer. You commuted, you did your work, you got up, you left, you were seen. That is not anymore. If a big corporate headquarters at an old line business like Allstate is no longer a place to get noticed and get work done, what's the real role of the office today anyways? It's a question that's been puzzling executives, frustrating workers and causing headaches for HR. When I ask CEOs and executives, what is the purpose of your office? I am, 8 out of 10 times, met with blank stares, says Kelly Cologne a Boston-based workplace consultant and former advisor with office furniture maker Allsteel. For decades, centuries, perhaps, no one had to ask about the office's purpose. Before laptops, cell phones and the internet, it was the place for people to get work done in the same room, for managers to keep a watchful eye on their people and for companies to splash their name on a building that highlighted their brand cemented their culture and showcased their status. Along the way, it also became a place that fed executive egos and convinced some of them management meant little more than wandering around. Neurologically, behaviorally, as a society, we train CEOs and leaders of organizations to chase, to reach this top level of their organization, Cologne says. The workplace became a representative and proverbial crown by which they assimilated their success. The pandemic changed that. Decoupling management from FaceTime and accelerating technology's untethering of professionals from the office. Prior to 2020 teams had already been getting more distributed, but COVID put the trend on steroids. Microsoft, for instance, reported recently that pre-pandemic, 61% of its teams were based in the same physical location. Today that number is only 27%. Now, many white-collar workplaces exist in a hybrid purgatory, torn between managerial nostalgia and CEO opinions about remote work's downsides, and the real need of workers to avoid crippling commutes while meeting life's many commitments. Meanwhile, Plenty of employees want or even need a place to work that's not their cramped apartment, and many agree that physically being with colleagues helps build relationships, ease collaboration and speed up certain work.